Thanks for joining me on Life and Surround. Today it is again time to talk about analog quadraphonic. Um, the importance of analog quadraphonic is that there are some very cool titles that are as of yet only available in analog and sometimes only available in one particular analog format. Today I'm going to be spinning in quad on my quad station, my full range quadraphonic system, for the first time, Caravanserai by Santana. Now, some of you may be aware that the first three Santana albums have been released in quad by Sony Japan on SACV, a part of their seven inch packaging series. Uh, it has been a topic of much interest over the last year or so, I would say, as to whether Caravanserai, also mixed in quad, as you can see here, will get the SACD treatment. I feel like, now that I have finally tracked down a really decent vinyl copy, that now the SACD will get the green light. Um, now that's okay with me. I uh, would be more than happy to own the vinyl and the SACD. If not for anything else, it's fun to compare them. And then also, when uh, a format meant for Matrix is uh, rendered in absolute, brutal, fully separated, discrete, you know, channels, I'm not sure whether that's the intent of the original engineers or whether it provides too much separation or whatever. So there's something to be said for, you know, the authentic SQ, QS, EV4, CD4, Q8, open reel experience. There, there may be something there that, that was meant to be that you're not going to get any other way. Um, but uh, for now, the only way to hear Caravanserai is in analog. It hasn't been officially, you know, rendered and, and produced and distributed in any modern optical format. No CD, SACD, DVD, or Blu-ray. So, um, you know, I just wanted to also make the point that this is going to be the last hurrah uh, in this household for the James Gammon era memorial turntable given to me by a very dear man a long time ago. I am moving to a turntable that can facilitate CD4. And uh, even though this Pioneer PL12D is an amazing manual turntable, especially for its original price point, uh, it's going back to its original family. Thank you for the very long loan. I've had it for probably coming up on 25 years and um, I'll, be, I'll be placing another turntable in that spot soon because I'm, I'm getting CD4 up and running. CD4 is a discrete quadraphonic vinyl format. And uh, I recently bought a lot of over 500 CD4 titles and I'm eager to get some of them spinning, okay? So Caravanserai. I'm going to give this, um, you know, its inaugural quadraphonic spin for me. I know that I uh, love a lot of this album already, just musically in stereo. It starts out a uh, pretty long stretch instrumentally, maybe around 10 minutes, around half of the first side. Then you get um, vocal numbers, but uh, plenty of instrumental excursions uh, remain on the first side. At a certain point, uh, there's a song I really, really like from the first side, and it may not be the one you're thinking of, that I'm going to um, have a little fun with the surround master over there. Uh, you have the ability to adjust the gain of individual channels. So what I'm going to do when it gets to one of my favorite songs for about a minute or two a piece, I'm going to drop all the other channels down as low as possible. And I have a microphone set in the middle of the room. And what we'll do is we'll um, record 
what the listener in the middle of the room would be hearing from each of the quadraphonic channels. Okay, little channel separation fun, courtesy of the surround master. The surround master is able to decode QS, SQ, involve audio. It's able to um, do so from any matrixed analog source if you feed the analog outputs into it. And it's also able to upmix pure stereo sources with no encoding. Um, and it does a pretty good job based on like what was in that original mix. Like if there's some phasey type of you know trickery going on, it, it tends to work a little better if your recording sounds very layered. All right, so anyway, not sure what more there is to say, but um, I'm gonna spin Santana Caravanserai quadraphonic from an SQLP and you know without much more ado let's get to it okay I'm gonna throw it on the platter and I'll mainly listen on my own but I'm gonna do some channel separation later so um, that's gonna pop up, and then I'll be back to just give kind of a final recap of this experience, all right? So without further ado, here we go. Hopefully we can hear some music over my, my dog, Nickabrix, snoring.
All right, so I'm back, having just listened to Caravanserai from Santana in Quad on the original SQ LP. Um, has it been released on a discrete format like Q8 or OpenReel? I'm not sure. And will it ever get released on a modern optical format like Super Audio CD? I don't know. In the meantime, I've been able to listen to this album in quad on analog quadraphonic on SQLP. And I gotta say, the experience was very cool. Oh my gosh, what a cool album. This marked the decline of early Santana in terms of commercial viability. But man, this. This record has some jams. It's got a couple of good songs in terms of like, you know, vocal songs. The um, SQ version comes with a very cool, you know, inner sleeve that explains quadraphonic and then it has some advertisements for gear, advertisements for um, my British brethren. And man, in terms of a quadraphonic experience, I'm gonna have to say you do need to track this down for Future Primitive and for La Fuente del Ritmo. Like there, there is some, some pretty exquisite quad movement going on, uh, like crazy quad percussion for Future Primitive. And the album is no slouch in quadraphonic on the, the front half. And you get Song of the Wind and you get All the Love of the Universe, which I um, did the channel separation for about a minute a piece. But in my opinion, this album really opens up and shows what it has to offer on the backside. So, man, I, I do sincerely hope that it that it uh, gets an SACD release from Sony Japan. I have loved the first three Santana albums in that format. So please, Sony Japan, if you're watching, release Caravanserai on 4.0 quad SACD. Uh, this is definitely a worthy album. It is highly sought after. Uh, it is no mistake that I tracked it down and wanted to put it on today uh, for like a special event. It has quite the reputation amongst quadiophiles, okay? So um, in, in quad, this sounds um, exactly how I would hope it would. You, you have percussion all around you plenty of the time. It has, man, thundering low end, like this very satisfying, you know, bass. <sighs> Guitars coming and going, vocals coming and going. Yeah, this is good stuff. So um, hopefully the uh, channel separation bit of this video will give you an idea of what SQ can achieve. SQ, from what I understand, is not the end-all be-all of the matrix formats. Um, some people think that QS or Involve Audio can decode better, but um, you know, there's, there's a fairly good selection of SQ titles available in kind of this Columbia Epic package, uh, you know, the series, th these gold borders. So I'm happy that I've had a chance to hear Caravanserai in quad at all. And, you know, if you don't have quadraphonic um, amplifier, like here's my A4, and, um, you know, either a receiver or a pre-pro that can process, you know, four plus channels of analog, I have my UMC 200 right here. Uh, you know, there are friends out there, if you just kind of make the right friends and make the right inquiries, who have done a needle drop 
and done a recording like from their their four analog outputs from their decoder. So you can you can get some of these titles in digits, but I encourage you to actually put together a system for for matrix quadraphonic a normal stereo LP or uh, turntable with a normal stereo cartridge and stylus will suffice with the normal tone arm and wiring and everything. You need a decoder like a vintage decoder that came in um, some receivers like Sansui's or you can get a modern device like the Surround Master. I have Surround Master version 3, the SMV3. Um, so you run a, a normal turntable through a decoder and a preamp if you need it and then into either a receiver or a pre-pro that can distribute 4 plus analog channels of, of audio and then uh, you need four channels of amplification so you can do that with two stereo amps or in my case I went and got a four channel amp and then four speakers full range preferred that's that's all the stakes and I gotta say this was this was a, a refreshing experience I've spent the last few months really obsessing on like stereo and mono vinyl and my room has been just filled with crates and records and stuff and I've sold a lot off and I built some storage, some shelving, and I've got the, the floor space of this room um, cleared to the point where I can listen to quad, full range quad again. And for me on this system, because I have a Blu-ray player connected to the Surround Master as well, that means I can listen to CD, Blu-ray, DVD, LP, I just needed the space and the time. So anyway, I hope this video is of value for you. Uh, for me, I realized several months back that I was kind of hitting a wall with, with current modern optical releases of surround like Blu-ray and DVD audio, DVD video. And uh, a friend helped nudge me in the direction of vinyl and I realized you know there are plenty of surround titles that are very worthy very appealing that are available only in analog sometimes only on vinyl sometimes only on tape and so for now I'm setting up my systems to be able to handle matrix vinyl and discrete vinyl and I keep saying uh, like you know never in a million years you know what I touch analog tape, you know, like open reel or Q8. But as soon as I say like I'll never do something, then somebody twists my arm or gives me an incentive. So maybe tape is in my future. There certainly are some quadraphonic titles that are only available on tape. So we'll see. But for now, it's been a good day. I've had a chance to listen to Caravanserai. It is wonderful. I do hope it receives an SACV release, and if it doesn't, now you know kind of you know where to look, SQ Vinyl, and and it could be on tape too. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you um, enjoy this channel. If you do, don't forget to thumbs up videos, uh, subscribe, ring the notification bell, share videos to you know groups. Or friends you know that you think would enjoy enjoy them it all helps this channel get the love of surround out to more people and you know can help achieve my goal that one day the world will live life in surround